everyone um welcome back to my channel um i've been to the hairdressers and i've had about that much cut off my hair i had to because um it was in bad condition at the bottom and needed that much cut off um i think this is the very first time you've seen me on my channel with curly hair <laughs> um I asked my hairdresser to um, put a little bit of curl in it and he did it with the um, curling tongs which I can't get the hang of, it, it look, made it look so easy but I can't do it. Um, but yeah, you can see how short it is now look, um, really 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 sad, um, I mean the front of this wasn't, well the front parts here were down to here um and I'm really really sort of sad um what I've had done is it's trimmed in round my face you'll see better when it when it's straight um um and I've had you know some shape put back into the front again so it's shorter round the front and there's layers in my hair I've still got enough hair to flip it over as I usually do and do it hopefully he says I have and do it in my side plait I better have and I've got enough hair to put it up in my bun as I do um, I tend to wear a bun quite a bit I mean I've been wearing a bun quite a bit just recently because the bottom half of my hair like this was in such a tatty mess so I've been sort of hiding that with the bun but I tend to wear the bun um, at the end of the week when it needs washing because um, I try to only wash my hair once every four or even five days if I can push it that far so when I get to about the third third or the fourth day when it's looking a bit greasy on top but the bottom's fine um, I'll just put it up into a bun on top of my head and I can get away with not washing it until the fifth or even the sixth day actually um, which is, if you're able to do that, it is much, much better for your hair. Um, so I'm going to, what am I going to do? The easiest way to show you, probably if I stand up with a camera and show you in the mirror, I'm going to disappear for a minute. Sorry about this. No, this is going to show you at all. Where are we? Maybe if I take the take my sorry if I take my jacket off, change of plan, I will show you my outfit of the day that I went out in first. <laughs> this will be the easiest way, and then I'll take my jacket off. This is a jacket from Lara Do. It's a catalog. Bought, I picked it up in a charity shop for about four pound, and the charity shop was. St. Bernardo's. Um, it passes, it, it clinches in at the waist, it's shaped, and it has these little clasps to fasten it in at the waist. And stuck three of them all the way down. Like that. That's two pockets, so there's tissue in there making it bulky. Don't want the extra hip bulk do we? It's long sleeves, it has a little split on both sleeves, it has a sort of an, an open, it's like a v-neck and the collar that sort of sits at the bottom of your neck. So that's what that looks like and it's sort of like hip length. I'll move you down if you can see. So I'll just move the camera forward. And I have three quarter length trousers on and maybe you can see. I'm gonna show I've shown you this before and it worked, didn't it? I'm trying to show you my shoes. <laughs> there you go. I've got beige coloured shoes on, which matches my bag. As you can see there, let me take one of the shoes off and show you what it looks like. It's a cutout, 
It's a cut out shoe and it sort of matches the cut out on there. So move you back up and I'm going to take take my jacket off. Underneath is this top, it's a bit bright and, and uh, colourful but I love it. I like purple, I like green. Uh, move you. Pop you back down a little bit so you can see the bottom of the top. It has this roof ruched effect at the front so it hangs like that and covers a multitude of sins, you know. It is a loose fit of top and it comes to hip length. It has little shorty cap sleeves, it has nothing under, barely nothing underneath. Like a sort of a deep v-neck, which, oh, sorry, I'm twisted. And it has this like loop that goes round there, little, di a little bit of a design. Um, I'm wearing this little necklace, it's like a moon like a, uh, what do you call that, is it crescent moon with a little sort of um, fake diamond there and I have fake diamond studs in my ears alright right, I'm just trying to show you my hair I think I can show you like that I think not the easiest thing to do is it when you're filming yourself, there you go. Um, I'm trying to show you how long it is now. It is still long. I mean, that's how long it is curly, and that is sort of just below my bra strap. And the length now is to here, there. And it was down here. Was down to was down to here, which is my just below my waist, and it is now mid back. So I have lost about that much off my hair, which is a shame. But as my hairdresser was saying, um. He was saying that, you know, if I didn't have that cut off, um, it, would keep, it would keep going up my hair and um, I'd have, end up having a whole load more hair cut off. Um, so to save, save my hair ended up being shorter and shorter and shorter, I had that bit chopped. I really didn't want to, but I did. Um, my lipstick I have on is... I think it's a Maybelline, is it Maybelline? It is Colour Sensational, what's that? Cousin Colour Sensational. Um, yes, it is Maybelline Paris. Colour Sensational 338 Midnight Plum. I wanted to sort of mix in a little bit with my purple in my shirt and I'll give you a swatch of that on the back of my hand there you go, you can see it better there and the lip liner I'm wearing to line the outside and filled in the lip is one from Sleek Makeup and it is in Current and the number is 651 Twist Up Lip Pencil in Current And it twists up like that and that is the colour it is a little bit darker um because i have scrubbed over that quite a few times but if you do it lightly it's not a bad match i'm just going to get a wet wipe packet I have a couple of things I want to show you. Oh, um, for a little, I'm going to post this video 
now, today. Um, but you will see videos of me with longer hair and also sometime next week, either the end of this week or the, or the beginning of next week, I'll have a new pair of glasses. But you will be seeing videos that I have made previous previous to my haircut and previous to my new glasses. So you'll have to bear with me to catch up with my new glasses, but I will do a video showing you wearing my new glasses so you can see what they look like. Um, but you will also see old videos with me wearing these, if that makes sense. All right, I have a few things I want to show you. I have this necklace, whoops, let me put my elbows down and hold it still, if I can. It's quite a sparkly, this is, um, this piece here, if I do it this way it's easier, is um, a silver coloured metal with dark bits in here to, to show um, sort of, um, you know, shape to the leaf. And then in the centre, our little diamante stones. This one is diamante stones in, in the like the petals and then you've got other little petals to make it like 3D, which it is. And then this one, because they're all three three are different ones, and then you've got a little tiny 3D flower. And it hangs on quite a pretty looking chain. It's not flat and boring. You have an extension chain there, so you can make it longer if you wish. But it's sort of... Um, I wear it at this length and it sort of sits just there and it's quite quite a nice length. That was from the seller that I've been buying the other statement necklaces from. Oh, and it's all plain on the back, so it's not scratchy or catchy or anything like that. Um, and I got them from got this from eBay and it was I think it was about round about price wise about three pounds I think something like that if I'm wrong I will put the correct information in the down bar um, the foundation I have on is the Garnier BB cream I just bought this again it is the original one in light um, so it's the the BB cream original light all-in-one daily moisturizer with mineral pig mineral pigments 24 hour hydration even it this is claimed this is what it claims it does it even evens tone blurs line and inf inf imperfections boosts healthy glow it's got a uv protection and an spf of 15. um uh, It has been formulated and dermatologically tested to ensure effectiveness and um, respect for your skin with proven results that you can see for yourself. I've had this one before and I really, really do like it. Um, I, I had this one and then I bought their... Um, they bought a new one out for older skins and I really didn't like it, really, really didn't like it at all. Um, the colour was darker, it it didn't sit well on my skin at all. Um, it, um, it just wasn't as nice as, as the original one, considering it was formulated for, for the older skin, didn't like it. So we'll pop it out of its box if I can get it out there we go and it looks like this and it says the original on the I don't use very much of this because it will go on quite thickly 
if you if you so wish it to do um, and it will go on really sort of nice and and sort of um I don't want to say you can get you can get a light coverage like I've got today or you can build it up and get quite a um a full coverage and it, it is really nice and it sits really really nice on the skin really nice on the skin um I've had this on my face now let me zoom you in I've had this on my face now for um let me think oh, seven. Five hours, no, yeah, five hours, and um, it looks as good as it did when I put it on five hours ago. I'm really, really pleased to to be where um, to be buying this again and to be wearing it again um, because I I did waste the other one. It's still sitting in in my um, makeup drawers back there, and I really haven't used it. Um, I got a Rimmel London waterproof, waterproof wonderful mascara with argan oil, yeah with argan oil, something falling under there and I was expecting to read on. Um, it's in this blue container, it's quite, uh, quite pretty, it's different. Um, so I'm going to be trying this out with, um, you know, with my watery eyes. Oh, I haven't got anything on, so I'll um, try it out for you. See what you think to it. And see what I think to it. While I'm talking to you, <coughs> do excuse the fact that I might. Um, dab it on my, my eyelids because I usually put um get you right in a minute I usually put eyeliner on my top lids before I um put this on put before I put mascara on and I should have curled my lashes <laughs> I'm putting this straight on. I haven't put my eye lash primer on. I've not tried this, any of these mascaras with these argan oils in before, so I don't know what they're like. I'd just like to give you a um, opinion see how I've smudged smudged the top lash what you could do there is um, get a um, a brush and make that into an eyeliner if you so wished watery eye this one fingers crossed and touch the proverbial wood this one this eye isn't watering but the other eye is. <laughs> the other eye is watering like mad. Oh, that one's watering now. Right. <laughs> We'll try to uh, apply mascara to a watery eye. <laughs> really needs um, eyelash curlers applying first. Definitely needs eyelash curlers. Mm. 
I have terribly straight lashes. Does it really needs like curling? And oh, yeah. Right, I'm going to put some mascara on this bottom lashes, but I'm not going to do the other one at the moment. I'm sorry, I'm covered you up. I've cut the bottom of the eyelid as well. Actually, I will actually put some on here because this is the eye that is watering. And we will see, sorry, we will see how it copes. Sorry, I'm going to have to go off camera. You're going to see the top of my head. Probably. Well, possibly. I'm not good at putting mascara on my bottom lashes while I'm holding a mirror. <laughs> Made a mess of those. No, I've made a right mess of that. That's going to have to come off on that side. Sorry. Okay. Right. Uh, it comes off well with a wet wipe when it's wet. <laughs> Let me have a look see if I can do this. So if you can just see the top of my head, I do apologise while I do this. I'm just going to stand up in the mirror. I'll just see better. Sorry about this. I can see better. I can see better there. But as you can see, I have messed up underneath there. I will clean that up later. And I will obviously let you know in a video further down the line when I've given this um, mascara a test run. Um, it doesn't look very good at the moment because I've made an awful mess putting it on. I do apologise. Terrible. Terrible mess. You'd never think I'd ever put mascara on before, would you? <laughs> huh. You know I have. You have proof. Oh, look how, how really sore. You see how sore my eyelids are. From, from this damn day fever. I'm so fed up with it. Right, where's my glasses? Cover those eyes up a little bit. Right, um, I got a Carmex lip, um, what do you call these? Lip, oh, what do you call them? Um, on the packet, on the pack, wrong way. On the packet, Caroline, read it. Lip balm. <laughs> that was the word I was looking on. Oh, God, what is wrong? I think it's the fact I've had my hair cut. It, it's taken my brain away. Um, it claims to it's a cherry lip balm and a, and a sunscreen. It soothes, it heals, it protects. Sun protection, long-lasting relief for dry, chapped lips. Um, 
It has broad spectrum SPF 15, water resistant um, 80 minutes it says. Um, Calmex is proudly made in the USA. It says a money back guarantee on the back. So obviously if you're not happy with it you can get your money back. So and it's a clear clear liquid. Like a just a clear liquid slimy effect sunscreen for your lips so I'm going to be giving that a go I'd already opened the packet just to see what it was see what it was like and I have tried it it is a rather a, a little bit slimy um, my eyes are watering on this side and it hasn't allowed the mascara to set so I hope it's going to be okay <laughs> but I don't but well, I don't usually use um, mascara on my bottom lashes anyway um, so that's those and then I was looking for a current curd lip liner I, I bought I already bought those and I've shown you those in a haul I think um, there's one current lip liner in there that's very nice and these came these came in the post the other day and there are two there's one eyeliner in there eleven lip liners and one eyeliner that's a grey eyeliner pencil and there are a couple of cherry looking pencils they only have numbers on this is number 15 this is number 9 and you can see they're very very similar in shade so I've got blown those um, this is number 10 so I, as you can see, I have cherry lip liners coming out of my ears. This is number 23. Or oh, current. Current, I'm thinking cherry for the Carmex. Current lip liners. This is number 19. That's number 19. So if I can't find the right current lip liner in this slot, I don't know what I'm going to do. Let me put you down a little bit. I'm a little bit high. <coughs> this is number 25. They don't follow. I haven't got the full sequence of lip liners. They do jump around and miss some. This is number 21. They're starting to go slightly different colours. That's number, what did I say, 21. And I'm not showing you in... Um, sequence either. This is number 14. That's number 14. That's a pretty colour. This is number 4. That's number 4. That's pretty. Oh, on the pink shade there. This is number 20. It's more, this is more of a, a current burgundy shade this is the last one this is number 12 I've used this one quite a bit as you can see it's been sharpened quite a bit more than the others look so I have used that one quite a bit it's a nice that is a nice lip liner and then and we've got a pencil in number one which is a eyeliner pencil and it is a greyish black, well, I don't know, black colour yeah it is black actually and these pencils are 
Davis, they come from Davis Cosmetics Co. And they are wood eyeliner pencils. That's what it says on there. And these came from China. And as you can see, there is Chinese writing on there. Um, that's where those came from. And then... I need to wipe this off of here because I've got a couple of t-shirts to show you. They're, they're, they're the same actually, I've got two of the same. I needed a... I need a white... Well, I needed a white vest top and it's a... It's a V-neck... V-neck vest top. And it, it's a nice length, it comes comes to let me zoom you down a bit you know our vest tops usually come right down over your bottom well, mm, this one this waistband this one comes to here and it's a really nice length because I really don't like the ones that come right over over your bottom they're far too long um, and I wanted to wear them with um, with shorts and with skirts so I got two of these uh, it was originally two for five pounds but they had them on sale for two pounds each rather than what would they have been 250 wouldn't they um, so I got two for four pounds and then I got oh and it all drops out I got a new hair dye and it's L'Oreal Paris and I want to go a little bit more on the red shade um, and this one is actually called Plum Power um, and as you can see my hair at the moment is more of this colour and hopefully it'll come I don't want to be bright red as in the colour up here this was a, a little bit of an accident um, up here um, and that is on my grey hair and, and the grey hair is showing through now as well as the bright red <laughs> colour that was on my grey hairs up there before um, so hopefully I'm going to get a, a nice red. Um, obviously on my roots it's going to be a brighter, more vibrant colour. Um, and hopefully I'm going to have, if I, if I stick with this colour, if I stick with this red, um, I'm going, obviously going to have to grow out um, the darker colour. If I don't like it, I'll just get the shade that I was always using before and just slap it on and it'll cover up this red quite easily. And it's the Ferrera one. Um, it's Fade Defiant Technology, long-lasting, intense, vibrant colour, multifaceted shine for up to six weeks. Um, inside it has your gloves, which aren't usually a lot of good. It has your mixing medium that's in there and then it has your colour, tube of colour <coughs> and then it has your after, no actually wrong way around, that's your colour <laughs> and this is your after shine sort of um, conditioner. And then this is your colour um, oil, well not the colour oil, but this is the oil that you drop into the whole mixture that is supposed to give you the six weeks um, extra shine. Um, this you, um, this is a six week treatment. So this, um, 
conditioner is supposed to last you for six six weeks they say so they're they're sort of planning on you washing it once a week um and you're supposed to get you know six uses out of that um and then you get your instruction leaflet here It gives you here the option one of applying the colour all over. That is if you're doing it for the first time. And then it gives you option two um, for putting on your hair if you're just doing the roots like you've coloured it before and you're just touching the roots up and then you're going back in um, with root touch up. So you just do your roots, leave it on for the allotted time and then you put the rest of the colour that's left in the container onto your lengths and leave it on your hair for a little bit longer um, just to, to bring all the, all the colour in together. Um, that was £5.89 from Superdrug. So hopefully that will turn out all right i hope um in the bag from the fa i got the actually i got the t-shirts from the factory shop in the bag from the factory shop there was a uh, slipped in a little magazine of theirs and it's just showing you that's the men's side this is the ladies side it's just showing you um what offers they have on Let me just open that's my phone going off it will stop in a minute what offers they've got on coming into the shop. That is everything. Let me just shut this off. It's reminding me to take my pills at lunchtime. I'll do them in a moment. Um, yeah, that is everything that I have to show you. I hope you like my hair. It doesn't give you um, a proper idea of what I've actually had done to it really but as you can see you know and it feels it's so so soft I don't know what he used on it but my hair is just so soft um, it just feels so nice um, so I hope you've liked this video I hope you like my hair um, probably I don't know I was slipping a video um, between my older videos to let you know what my hair looks like when it's um, dried straight because I cannot for the life of me curl my hair like this with the straightening irons and this is what he did he just flipped it over and, and like flips it over and curls it I can't do it um, so I will like I just said slip in a video of me with my hair straight so you can actually see what the actual cut looks like because, you know, you, you've got no idea of what the cut looks like with this when it's curly. So, I hope you like this video. Uh, I think I've just said that. And I'll see you again soon. I hope this video hasn't been too long. It probably has. I've been, I feel like I've been talking for hours. Um, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.